In today's video, I am showing off how to use C++ scripting within Godot. And the way we're doing this is through this project Genova, which is an extension for the Godot game engine, which allows you to use C++ as a scripting language. And in this video, I'm going to show off how to download it and then some basic coding you can do with it. So first thing we got to do is I'll leave this website's link in the description. But we go to getting started and down here, we go to installation. So the first thing you want to do is download the official installer if you're using Windows. If you're on Linux, you can watch this video here and I'll explain how to do it. But we install the Genova installer and I already have it set up. So we can go into our downloads folder and we can run the Genova installer. And it will ask us for a path for us to install it. So what we got to do is let's create a project. So let's create a CPP in Go, Godot, create. All right, now once our project's open, we can go back to the installer, installation path, documents, CPP and Godot. So this lets this and then install Genova. And now we just got to let it run. And we'll see here, it's going to go through a list of these and I'll be back once it's done installing all of them. And once it's done, we can push finish. And now in our Godot project, it's gonna reload. And now we have to reopen Godot. So let's go Godot. All right, now that we've reloaded Godot, you see we have this Genova tab. And what we wanna do is we wanna go tools, open package manager. And you wanna, you can pick multiple of these but I'm just going to install the Visual Studio package as my compiler, which will just take a second. And then you need a compiler and then you need a Godot kit. All right, now it's done. So let's go to our Godot kit. And since we installed Visual Studio up here, we're gonna do this one. All right, now that they're both installed, we can close this. Last thing we wanna do is go tools or just configure build. And this is fine, we'll go with the latest. And then all we wanna do now is we should be able to create a C++ script. So let's create a main menu, like a main scene. Then we'll create a new scene. We'll base it off of a mesh 3D, mesh instance 3D. We'll call this cube. We'll add a cube mesh to it. And then in scripts, Instead of doing a GD script, we can now create a C++ script. And if we push create, you can see here we have C++ within the Godot engine. And one thing I want to show is what we can do is we can go Genova export to Visual Studio and we can push generate solution and then open it in Visual Studios. And now once we're in Visual Studio, we can go over to the Genova module and we have our cube.cpp file here and we can open this up. And now we have all of our C++ code inside Visual Studio, which means that when I type out statements like bool temporary 50, I, I can go temporary dot, and I will get all of the, I could create try to create a vector and you can see how you can see how it's auto-populating like it does regularly, but now this all runs within the Visual Studio. All right, so before we start coding, I just wanna show you, I've set up this very basic scene here where I just have a camera attached to a collision body so that we can have a cube and a 3D scene. All right, so the first thing I wanna show is how to output a message. So if we go to our script here and we go to our cubes code, the first thing I wanna do is just output something to the console. So what we can do is on ready, which is when the cube is built. So this is like the start of the program. I will type in output and then let's just do hello world. So this is the equivalent of SDD count, except this, it automatically puts a slash N at the end. So if we go here, every time you update your C++ code, you push build solution. And if it says build success, like project build complete, then we can run it. And we'll see down here, we get hello world. And let's say we wanted to create a for loop. We could do for 
int i equals zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus. And let's output counting from, or counting down from. And then unlike regular C++ where you just add more arrows, this one you have to do like i at i. So this is for an integer. And then the integer we want to do is 10 minus i. So we can put build. Build complete. Now we can run the code. And we get counting down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, but let's try to, let's do something more complex than just printing stuff to the console. So let's, in our process frame, let's make the cube float upwards. So the way we do that is we first need to get access to the cube. And it may seem easy as the cube script is attached to the cube, but it doesn't actually inherit from the cube. So we have to first, up here in our includes, include go dot classes and then whatever class we're using. So this one is a mesh instance 3d.hpp. Now once we have that, we go down here and whatever type of ob like whatever node your object is that the script's attached to, you type its name out. So we'll go Godot dot mesh instance 3d pointer and we'll call this this node and we'll set this equal to a instance pointer to self which we convert to a mens instance 3d and what this is is this is a caller which is passed into every function from c++ which is basically saying what node called this object so cube calls this we turn the caller into a mesh instance and then we can interact with it. So let's go this node set position equal to a vector three of 0, 0.0, this node dot get position, and we want to get the y, and then add delta, and then go 0, 0.0 and close it off. So now if we build this, error. Godot is not a class member. Is it Godot like this? Okay, so now it works. So if we run the code, you can see we spawn in and the cube starts to float upwards. And that is all done in C++ scripting. All this code is written in C++. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this is very basic, but I will leave the documentation and all the links you need to download this in the description below. And if you want to check out my first game I made with Godot, not in C++, but in regular GDScript, you should click on this video here. And until next time, see ya.